Everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to today's video. Today is a get ready with me, but I want to use the products that came in my ice cream beauty bag. Since I didn't get a chance to unbox this in October, I want to make sure and pull these things out to share them with you all. And then of course, you know, do a look. So today's voting, voting day, election day, and so I want to, you know, get ready and... I want to do something quick, but I want to use these products. So these three products here that are listed on this card is a, um, it's an, a, a duochrome liner in this really pretty white. And I don't know if you can see the sparkles, but the sparkles are like pink. They're really pretty. So I thought maybe we'd give that a little go. And then there's the Ace Butte lipstick, the Pout Perfect lipstick in Gratitude, which I believe is kind of dark. And let me just pull it out and show it to you. I think I may have this in my collection. I just, you know how it is. You collect so much, you put stuff away. Yeah, that's really, really dark. So I've, I don't think I want to use that today. I may save that for another time or I may put it in a giveaway even. I'll have to check my um, stash and see if that's indeed a duplicate or not. So let me set that to the side. And then the palette, that's the main thing for today. And this is, I chose the one from Gourmand Girls. Really cute packaging. So it was a collab, I believe, with Ice Cream Beauty. And so that you just pull the sleeve off, and of course the palette looks exactly like the sleeve. And let me throw away this color saver. I never save these things. And there's a nice mirror, and then there's all these pretty shades. So those blues and greens are jumping out at me today. Let's just... Get some eyeshadow primer on and we'll get going. The palette is valued at $40. The lipstick is $16. I do believe that Ace Butte is rebranding. And so you may be able to find that lipstick on their website um, on sale. And then the duochrome liner is $5. So I've never really used anything from Italia Deluxe before, but that'll be interesting to try. So just a little eyeshadow primer to get going with. I did do a little skincare before I came on. And, uh, and I'll probably just wear a CC cream today. I just really want to keep things simple and easy. I am in a hurry. I've got to be ready to go when my husband gets home from work around noon. So I wound up with two of these little cards. I think they might have made a mistake. I picked up two instead of one. Okay, I'll do my brows after a while. All right, let's get into this palette. I'm going to grab a fluffy brush here. I'm going to use this one from Alamar Cosmetics. <coughs> and uh, there's so many pretty shades to choose from. But I think I'm going to keep it pretty conventional today. And I'm going to start with this one here in the corner called Praline and use that in the crease to start out with for a little wash of color. I'm 
nice and light. I need to pull this plastic thing off this mirror so I can see right. They do protect their mirrors, but I do not need that now that it's here safe and sound. There's lots of pretty colors in this palette, and I'll probably try to come back to it at some point and do a colorful look and use one of these glitters. There's like three or four glitters in this palette. But I'm gonna try not to be too elaborate today because like I said, I am going out. Where our voter registration um, or the election place that we've been assigned to is our public library here in Savannah. So according to where we live, that's the place that we need to go. So hopefully because they've divided it up, you know, and we do live in a rather small town, it won't be very, very crowded, especially, you know, in the middle of the day. I would imagine most people would go at the end of the day after they get off work, but who knows, there may be quite a few people there at lunchtime. But we wanna do it and, uh, you know, early. Okay, that's really, really light. So that's a really nice transition shade. Okay, let me grab another brush and Let me use this LC uh, 10 from Lorella. I really like this this brush, and I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this really pretty light blue. It's called Macaroon, right there. Macaroon. And then I'm going to put that right there on top of that brown. Well, it's like a brown. It was like a really light camel color. This is a pretty pastel. These colors right here remind me of spring. A lot of them do. There are a couple of darker shades in the palette on this bottom row. And Gourmand Girls is known for having quite a bit of pigment in their shadows. So don't worry, there's gonna be something that's gonna show up pretty good here in a minute. Just hang on. But I'm going to try to keep it pretty conservative. Okay, I may come back to that in a minute. Let me let me grab another brush here. Let's see. Let me use this flat brush. And I want to go into I think I'm gonna go into this one here called Gourmand. It's like a bluish green, really pretty bright bluish green. And I'm just gonna use this little flat brush and put that right here on the lid. And like right above it in this lower part of the crease. That's pretty. Let 
Yeah, I like that. That's nice. And it's bright too. Okay, now let me get a little pencil brush here. And um, one with a little fluffiness to it. It's kind of small. <clears throat> and um, I really want to add a little bit of green into this without going crazy. So I think I'm going to choose this shade here called Parfait. It's pretty bright. Let's just see what happens here. And if I'm not satisfied, I can always switch. Anyway, I'm just going to. Put this right here. In the lower crease. Just to give a little depth. And when I say a little, it's very little. It's not much at all. But it does add some brightness to the look. And with this small brush, it, I can control, you know, how much I'm putting on. And exactly placing it, you know, where I want it. Yeah, that brings an intensity to the look. Okay, now let me set that brush down. Now I want to go into a uh, this blue down here. It's called Mirror. It's like a purplish blue. And I'm going to use it with a tapered brush, tapered flat brush. I'm going to put this on the tip and I'm going to put this underneath the lash line. Got some of that eyeshadow primer on the top of my cheek there. And then I'm going to add some right here to kind of deepen up this, this corner. And we're just going to make the eyes look a little bit bigger. like that blue <coughs> I wanna I'm in a hurry but I don't want to be sloppy you know what I mean I'm trying to But the thing about doing your eyes first is if you do get any fallout or, you know, make a mistake or get, you know, too much, you can always fix it. Fix it with foundation, concealer, you know, use a makeup wipe, whatever you need to do. Oh. 
Okay, that's fun. All right, let me stop right there on that. And I'm going to try some of this liner. <clears throat> and bring some. It's liquid glitter. And hopefully the, um, I'm trying to open it here, y'all. It's got a safety seal on it. We can sing the safety seal song if you like. Safety seal, safety seal. We like it when the products have a safety seal. Yay, safety seal. Anyway, I thought before I put my other stuff on, why well, I'd try this. And I hope the brush is skinny. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's try a little glitter liner. Let's see, where am I gonna put it? I think I'm gonna put it right here. Just right there on the front. Part of the eyelid. Just to give this a little bit of pizzazz. Since I don't really have a shimmer on, I didn't want to use those glitter eyeshadows today. I like the way that this slides in and out of that container. It keeps the brush from getting too much on it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I think I almost got myself in the eye. That was not cool. <laughs> that was not cool. How fun is this, y'all? Okay, so we're just going over the front there, and I'm carrying it over into the blue just a little bit. But I'm not really going all the way across. I'm just, you know. Just covering the eyelid about two-thirds of the way. Okay. That adds a bit of interest to the look. Okay, I'm going to stop there while I'm ahead. I may do <clears throat> a highlighter in the inner corner once I get the foundation and everything on. But let me do some things and uh, do my brows and all that, and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I put on a couple of coats of mascara and cleaned up a little bit and touched up a little bit and put on my face and my eyebrows. And now I'm ready to do highlighter. I want to use this one from Sleek Makeup. I've had this for a while and it's really super pretty. And so let me just grab a fluffy brush here and I'm going to go into this really pretty pink. Some of these are creams but some of them are powders. And this one right here is a powder. And I want to use a powder highlighter on top of the blush I'm wearing today, which is from LYS, the blush is. And it's been a while since I've used this highlighter, but as I recall, it was really, really soft and it blurred the skin. You really couldn't see texture just a really soft, uh, like lit from within kind of highlight, which is what I want today. Just strobing it on. Just a really pretty, really pretty pink. Just going with a little pastel theme here today. 
a little bit on the nose, maybe a little bit more on the nose. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to apply a second layer here. Okay. Now, for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in with that same shade. I'm going to use this complex culture brush. And we're going to just pop her right in there. It's a really subtle highlighter. And it's not going to really put a big pop right there, but it is going to brighten things up a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see a difference. We get so used to those big bright pops that when we have something that's understated and subtle, we think that, you know, no one's really going to be able to see it, but they will. I feel like I got a sleeper in my eye. Okay, let's go again. It's kind of a duochrome. It's got like some, but not just pink, but there's some other reflex in there. Like some purple or something. Okay, that did the trick right there. All right, now let's do lips. I've got this brand new lip gloss that I want to use from Lorella. It's so pretty. It'll go perfect with the glitter that I use for the eyeliner. So it's just a matter of deciding, you know, what lip liner I'm going to use. And I think I want to go in with this one here. Uh, from Lurella, it's uh, in the shade 5, which is a really pretty, like a pink color. And I've used this several times before, and I keep coming back to it, so I really like it. It's like my lips, but better. Kind of pink. And I'm just going to... apply in the corners as well as outlining. And I'm leaving the middle blank for this gorgeous lip gloss it's really super pretty it's like clear but it's got like white reflex which adds like a frostiness to the look oh yeah that's pretty Okay, that's the look, y'all. Let me spray it down <clears throat> using the one hit from Item, Item Beauty. Woo. All right, today's bronzer, uh, well, first of all, let's start with the base. I used the Perlise CC Cream, and then I went in with the e.l.f. Concealer, and then I set some my under eyes and my nose and everything with this by Terry Hyaluronic powder and then I went in with the Per Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzer and then the blush from LYS in the shade uh, Confident love this one and um, let's see brows the brow gal pencil 
And then mascara, I used two coats of the Lorella mascara, the new one that I just got. And then I topped everything off with this one from Benefit called Fan Fest. So I've been using the two of these together. I find that the Lorella one really um, lengthens, but I'm not sure if it's completely waterproof. So I always like to top it off, you know, with a waterproof one. Let's see, what else did I do today? Not much. I really focused on the eyes. Anyway, my eyebrows aren't perfect, but they're they're gonna they're gonna make it. I opted out on the lashes today because you know I'm going out in public and I really didn't want great big floofers. So anyway, this is fun, y'all. This little eyeliner. So anyway, it brought some shimmer to the look since I used only mattes in the palette. I went in with this brown one here called Praline. Then I went to Macaroon, this light blue one. And then I went over here to this one here called Gourmand. Then I hit the look with this green called Parfait. And then I ended up here on um, Mirror, this pretty blue. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, five shades. And I, I still never got into either one of these greens. So I'll have to come back and work with the greens and the purples. It's a fun little palette. Really pretty, uh, soft, powdery kind of uh, texture on the mattes. And, um, but pigmented enough, you know, and you, they are buildable. So I'm pretty happy with the palette. So anyway, thumbs up. Yay! All right, I enjoyed creating this look today, getting ready. Hope you all are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd like to invite you to do so. And we say thank you very much. All right. God bless you today is my prayer. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.